Following an historic one-day session on Monday that granted Governor Stitt enhanced powers, it wasn't long before he found himself embroiled in a budget standoff with the legislative leaders. ONAR's Ed Murray has more on that dispute. Members, HC 1001 is a, uh, a f affirmation of the governor's emergency declaration of a health care emergency. The House was first to act. Lawmakers wearing masks and staying far apart, approving this first use of this 2003 law once a few questions were answered. Do we have assurances from the governor that he will be notifying and, and making that public which rules, regulations, statutes that he may be suspending? And by the same token, this act allows him to move money around uh, up to $50 million. There's a requirement for a notification of the Speaker of the House and the pro tem of the Senate if he were to suspend any rules or regulation or laws. Also a requirement for notification if he were to uh, in any way spend some of, and he's allowed up to $50 million. Um, we have made the commitment uh, that, that that information will then be made public on our end. The measure passed the House 99 to 1 and the Senate 39 to 1. Both chambers also easily passed a trio of bills to use $500 million from the Rainy Day Fund to cover an anticipated $416 million budget hole. But that's when the process hit an unexpected roadblock. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, we will be announcing a new day and time soon. Uh, we hope you have a, a good and safe day. Governor Stitt abruptly canceling a meeting that would have officially declared a revenue failure and triggered one of those bills. The governor explaining the next day he wants the use of savings combined with agency cuts. When Oklahomans are struggling, I'm going to protect the taxpayer and uh, asking state agencies to uh, cut expenses by one or two percent seems very reasonable to me. On Thursday, the governor signed two of the three bills to fund state government through April called on the legislature to come back and put promised money back into the Digital Transformation Fund. But in part of a joint statement with Senate President Pro Tem Greg Tree, House Speaker Charles McCall says, the House and Senate remain united by our actions to swiftly stabilize the budget and call on the governor to finish the job. Further legislative action is not needed when a stabilized budget is already on the governor's desk. Ed Murray, the Oklahoma News Report.